Slum 1200 GGI Mob shit, and I'm back. So we gonna be going around swag with it. You know what I'm saying? Constance and Mel for Mean Street to be exact. Scatter sites, you already know what it is. We gonna be talking about the brothers Boone and Butch. Butch and Boone. So I knew Butch and Boone, you know what I'm saying? I knew, I, I met Butch in school actually in Walter L. Khan. We started going to Khan, I met Butch. I would meet Boone years later through a, another person I was messing with that was from around there, one of the little big dogs, the dude Jesus. So um, I would wind up meeting Boone them after I did an ep. I did the ep about the spot being, where I would meet Boone them before the spot was actually kicked in. I met Boone partner, Jesus at the apartment complex where I used to be studying the piff at. He used to be coming around there getting piff and shit. Before he go to school in the morning for um for lunch, you know what I'm saying? And when he get out of school. So I used to be like, damn man, what a dude, you know, where young and be at like that. He be coming through here spending bread like that every day. I'm trying to see what he out here doing, you feel me? So one day he come in there, you know what I'm saying? He like, man, I need to lead this I need to lead this blick in the um in the spot. So I'm like, cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm he like, man, I'm gonna come get it after I get out of school. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm like, man, why you need a blick to go to school, young? He like, man, um, I got into it with this dude, you dig? I'm like, who? So he was talking about he had got into it with Whammy, long little Whammy, you know. And he had a little something going on. He was like, Whammy jacked him. So bam. Like once the spot got kicked in, I started going around their way a little, you know, just going to hang around there, make me a few dollars and move around, you feel me? So they wind up having a little blick out with Wham one time. This one he had got hit up the second time after this shit with Tim and him. You know what I'm saying? And Zoo wind up some type of way the people got involved and Zoo wind up going on the run. So in this period of time, I wind up, you know, meeting Boone and really getting to know all of them real good because I started hanging around them a little. So when I see, man, Young and them was out there top, they really was out here doing a lot of shit, little niggas, you know what I'm saying? They surprised me. Cause they was really out here pulling some, they was out here pulling off eggs, jack and shit. Like they was really getting it on. And Boone even popped up on the um, first 48 episode and I was looking for the episode, but I can't find it. But I watched it when it came out. So I'm going to read to y'all um, something I found on Butch and Boone. So it said, brothers linked to crime were, were found shot to death. Now four men face charges. More than a year after their two bodies, Louisiana brothers were found in a backseat of a burning rental car in a rural Crawford County. Four men have been charged in the killings, including two Mankin brothers. Willis Bush Turner and Delvin Boone Willis of Louisiana had been shot to death in Mankin County before their bodies were found September 20, 2015, in a new kill soul that had been that had been set ablaze behind a vacant farmhouse on Marshall Mill Road, about four miles south of US 80. The car had recently been Rennan and Warner Robbins. Warrants have been issued in Mankin County for Jeffrey Larry Nichols, Larry C.J. Holmes, and Marcus Hanna, according to Southwestern Judicial Circuit District Attorney, please Harden. Jeffrey Larry, Nicholas Larry, and Holmes are in custody, custody awaiting trial on the federal drug charges, the release said. Jeffrey and Nicholas Larry are being detained at the Butts County Jail and Holmes is being detained at the Jones County Jail, officials said. Hanner has been in Rogers State Prison since May 2016 on charges of robbery by force and influencing a witness in Mangan County. Assistant District Attorney Don Labyrinth said he expects the men will be indicted in March. At the time of the brothers' death, $5,000 of reward were being offered for tips leading to Wilson's arrest. On a local TV station reported, Wilson's was wanted in connection with the shooting 
death of a 39-year-old Leonard Reese, who was shot August August 26, 2015, while holding his two-year-old nephew on the stoop of his New Orleans home, according to the Times Picayune. The child was shot in the leg but survived. A week before the bodies of the brothers were found, Mutuzana police identified Turner and Willis as suspects in a violent stick-up at the mini market in Mankin County on September 13, 2015. The gunman had tied the clerk's hands with zip ties and stole the cash and lottery tickets the police department posted via on his Facebook page. The pair then, the pair then kidnapped one of the employees and went to the victim's home where they robbed, where they robbed the clerk's husband of money. Both men also had been linked to other crimes in the area, including an armed robbery in 2012 and at least three strong armed robberies at other businesses, the, the post said. Turner also made headlines in New Orleans after he was too doped up to stand for his appearances. Turner testified positive for opiates, but authorities weren't able to tell the judge how he could have gotten drugs while in the Orleans Parish prison, the Time Picking Union reported. So like I said, man, them boys definitely was cutting up, you know what I'm saying? And once I heard that him and Butch was pulling off all these acts right here, it really messed me up, you know what I'm saying? And then this was a this was a whole nother little situation right here. So it's in New Orleans police are looking for two men who are considered persons of interest in a connection with a fatal shooting that happened in August. Police are looking for 26-year-old Delvin Boone Wilson and 28-year-old Cedric Sam Stokes, police said. The two may have additional information to the homicide investigation of a 33-year-old Tillman Hawkins. Hawkins was killed August 23rd in the 3300 block of Garden Oaks Drive. That's by Jackson Land. Police found Hawkins' body about 4 p.m. in front of an apartment suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. Video surveillance in the area captured a white Nissan fleeing moments after the shooting. Detectives said they were able to get a partial number of the license plate. N33 detectives believed the vehicle was rented. So yeah, man. Boom, them definitely was out here. They had them really like went in, like really flashed out. Slum 1200 GGI mob shit, man. Y'all get in that comment section, hit that like button, make sure the notifications turned on, hit that subscribe button, man, and stay plugged. Slum 1200 GGI. Niggas dying for the bucks and the glory. True story. Trying to make a meal before.